What's up guys, Brandon here. It's Sunday morning and after yesterday's haul and video, I didn't think that it would continue into today, but it did. And it actually started right after my video that I posted yesterday. Um, the guy that sold me the He-Man and Voltron and all those toys contacted me again. We, switched phone, we swapped phone numbers. Uh, he texted me, uh, said he found some more stuff. And even after that, there should be more to come. He said once he gets into his attic, he's going to let me know. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you what I got from him after that video I posted yesterday. And then this morning, I had an awesome vintage video game haul. Let's get into it. So this guy had some pretty unique items. Even just this bag is cool, minus the uh, fruit roll-up wrappers and Dunkin' Donuts uh, napkins there. But it's a 1997 DC Comics bag. It's a, look at that, how cool is that? Ice Age Gotham City bag. Very cool little duffel. But what is in it is super interesting to me. Very creepy, but they are little plastic molded luchadors. Now the story behind these is, this guy's parents live in Texas. I forget the name of the town, but it's right on the Mexico border. And he got these on the streets of Mexico when he was a kid. So I thought that was pretty cool. They may not be worth a lot. I have no idea, but it's just so cool. A bunch of Mexican luchadors right off the street of Mex streets of Mexico. And then there was a few other goodies in here. This guy, I don't remember his name, but he's from a line called Dino Riders. And they used to come with big dinosaurs with uh, armor and weapons. And these guys would be the, the riders, the people who operated the dinosaurs. And there was actually a few more in here that I brought in the house already. Then in this little guy, some more random stuff. I believe these are mini Z-Bots. Um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But uh, very, very cool. Um, pretty positive they're Z-Bots. There's a Z on the chest, so I would think that's what it is. And then check this out, guys. We have a whole trunk load of Lego boxes, right? So they're all Lego sets, all the boxes. There's a whole NBA set. And then all these bags are the Legos that go to those sets. So garbage bags of Legos. As you can see, there's the NBA player there. Um, they're a little dirty and whatnot, but I'll clean them up, try to match them up to their sets, and we'll take it from So that stuff's pretty cool, right? And I can't wait to see what else that guy has for me. Um, a little teaser, I'm not getting myself too excited just in case he doesn't end up coming across them. Um, but in his attic, which is a little crawl space attic, um, he said there should be G.I. Joes, Transformers, Dino Riders, Power Rangers, and possibly more. So, fingers crossed, that would make for some great content. <laughs> so, hopefully he gets back to me with that. But let's get into this retro video game haul from this morning. We'll start down here with this box. You got your classic NES. That's good that that sticks down there. Usually uh, that piece wears out and you got to replace it. Um, we'll see the pin connector looks pretty clean as well. So hopefully I won't have to replace it We got this Nintendo Game Boy carry case The original Game Boy luckily I have some extra plates that go on here these do work Well, they turn on at least I have to test them with the games. We got a yellow Game Boy color and Then a bunch of games um, Spell checker and calculator battle tank nothing too crazy for games. They're pretty common um, F1, there is a classic, where'd it go? Uh, I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> Super Mario Land 2. And there's another game, Atomic Punk, uh, for the Game Boy, which I had never found before. Um, and that thing goes for about 15 by itself. Um, oh, by the way, I pay everything you're seeing right now in the video game lot, I paid 150 for. Um, this is dusty, but incredible. If you know your stuff, you know this is a great find. The Sega Genesis with the Sega CD attachment. There's a game in here, too. Gunfighters. I'm actually sh pretty sure that's a pretty good game, too. All the cords. Very dusty. It was obviously in a basement or attic, so I'll clean it up. But 
like I said, I paid 150 for everything, and as long as this cleans up nice, which it should, because they usually do, um, this thing will sell for 175 by itself. Uh, this whole setup with the wires. So there's my money right there. And then we get into this stuff. This is some more uh, accessories and controllers. Just a little box. This thing, I had never seen it before. U Force worked with virtually all Nintendo games. Plugs right into your control deck. Uh, power field controller. So by the looks of it, and this is officially licensed Nintendo product, by the looks of it, um, you control it with just the movements of your hands, which is pretty cool. And I would try it out, but the boxes, not sealed, but everything inside has never been used. It's all on cardboard and wrapped. It is brand new. The only three comps, the one, there's three listed on eBay for like three... $79.99 brand new or something like that. There's no brand new in package ones in the sold listings. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll probably list it, I don't know, maybe $350 with the best offer option and see how it goes. Then we come over to this, another accessory for the Nintendo that I had never seen. And that is a Konami laser scope. Uh, volume controls on the side. I don't really know what game it's for or games. Um, once again, a little dirty, but should clean right up with like some Clorox wipes. Um, this thing is selling for 75 to 100. Never seen it before, but I'll take that any day. Here you have just a little pile, a couple, couple 32X games, Metalhead, and Doom. Every time I film outside, I get a neighbor talking to me, but we have a Sonic Spinball for the Sega, and then some manuals and posters, and then check this out. A Sega Genesis team player adapter that, so you can um, make it four controllers instead of two that connect them to the system. Pretty neat, right? But then, what you almost never find, and what I'm super pumped about, boom, a bunch of Sega CD games. Incredible. NBA Jam, awesome game. Uh, Monkey Island, this is a pretty rare one. I have the manual. It, I don't have the original case. It came in this one, but that's a $40 game right there with the manual. Afterburner, Sewer Shark, Batman Returns. And I have the manuals for all of those. Then it just goes crazy. Lodestar, Fahrenheit, Global Conflict. What do we got? Lethal Enforcers 2, Gunfighters. And that's the game that is actually in the console. Um, Thunderstrike. You've got a couple sports games for the Sega, which are kind of garbage, but that's okay. Um, NHL 94. Silphied, College Football. This, I believe, is a quite valuable game. I could be wrong. I'll double check. Um, but that's made by JVC. Dungeon Master 2, Skull Keep. Um, I'm going to look that up. I'm almost positive that's a high, high dollar game. Um, you got a couple 32X games. Mortal Kombat 2, Virtual Racing, Star Wars Arcade. Back to Sega CD with Racing Aces. Um, this is a backup RAM cart for the Sega CD. I'm pretty sure that's valuable too because you never come across it. Sega CD, guys, that's one of the ones that I'm not as knowledgeable about. Knowledgeable about I can talk. Um, because I don't find it often. So I'm going to do some research here. But there's some games I've never heard of, which I'm super excited about. For this, for instance, this one here. Who Shot Johnny Rock? Looks like a mobster game. She's got a Tommy gun. That's crazy. <laughs> um, Sega CD 32X Night Trap. Looks like a vampire game. Never heard of it, but... The stuff I never heard of and that's obscure, that's usually the valuable stuff. Supreme Warrior. Battle Corpse. Tomcat Alley. Star Wars Rebel Assault. Dracula. We got a Star Trek Starfleet Academy. Starship Bridge Simulator. We've got Soul Star. Cliffhanger. Prize Fighter. Surgical Strike. Oh, there's the Atomic Punk game I was telling you about for the Game Boy. Um, we have more over here. This is very neat. I don't know where the front of the case is, but 
the software tool works star wars chess never seen that um rise of the dragon joe montana's nfl football stellar fire echo the dolphin which was my favorite game for the sega genesis as a kid then we have a random star wars battlefront 2 playstation 2 we have some more sega red zone robocop versus the terminator that's very cool top gear 2 eternal champions and urban strike guys I can't tell you how pumped I am about this lot of games. Once again, 150 for everything I'm showing you right here. Insane. And to top it all off, we got this cool G.I. Joe tin. That's vintage. The date was on it somewhere. 1982. Hasbro, G.I. Joe. Love the old artwork. And it's in decent shape, considering kids like destroyed stuff. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, guys... We have this giant Rescue 911 Chopper Rescue slot car set. That's incredible. It looks like you're driving along and then the helicopter actually lifts the car at one point and brings it across a bridge and back onto the track. And uh, as you see here, it has the old Bradley sticker, which has been long out of business. Originally $69.99, clearance for $25. Guess what? Brand new sealed. The only comps, once again, there's some for sale that are brand new for 300 plus. There's, um, I think, one brand new seal that was like 75. I don't remember how long ago that sale was, but we'll put it up for a good amount uh, with the best offer option and see how it goes. But once again, I, <laughs> I can't believe the luck lately. Um, part of it's hard work. I do drive around all over the state looking for this stuff. Um, I'm, I'm speechless, to be honest with you. I am pumped. I'm going to get this stuff packed up, uh, spending some time with the family today. It's my parents' 25th wedding anniversary, so we have a little cottage down by the shore. My, my parents do. And i um, going to go relax, and we'll see what the week brings, right? Keep on hustling. Keep on picking. Keep on flipping. And just live life, man. You got to have fun. Love you guys.